Good morning, boys and girls. Today is Wednesday, May 20th, and our Bible story today is a very famous Bible story. I bet you all have heard it about a tax collector. Remember, tax collectors were not liked by the Jewish people because they usually charged more for taxes than they were supposed to collect, and they put the extra in their pocket. So they were very rich people. And, uh, uh, this man, you're going to know his name. So as I say it, is Zacchaeus. Now, Zacchaeus was not liked by other, uh, the people that he lived around because he was a tax collector. And Zacchaeus uh, has something in common with, uh, with you guys. He was short. You ever get in a crowd and you can't see anything because you're not tall enough to see? Well, there was a crowd of people and they wanted to see what was going on. And he could not see because the Bible says he was short in stature, which means he wasn't tall. He was short. And so we know what Zacchaeus did. He climbed up in a sycamore tree, which was really smart because he knew which way Jesus was going. So he ran ahead. He climbed up in the tree so he could see what was going on. And sure enough, there was Jesus. Now, Zacchaeus was not a Christian. He was not a Jew. Or he was not a, he was a Jew. But he did not know Jesus. He'd heard a lot about him. Everybody heard about Jesus and the way he healed people and cared for people and preached about God's love. So he was curious. It's a good thing to be curious. And Jesus came walking by and he looked up and he said, Zacchaeus, come down because I'm going to your house today. And Zacchaeus is thinking, how does he know my name? Jesus knows everything. And so Zacchaeus came down. Now Zacchaeus was rich. Remember, he'd taken a lot of money from a lot of people. Everybody had to pay taxes. He had a nice house and he had nice servants. Um, and uh, uh, But he knew in his heart, he knew he wasn't right with God. And you suppose Jesus told him how to get right with God? I think he did. He told him he had to repent. He had to be sorry for his sins. He has to, had to ask forgiveness for his sins. And God would come and live in his heart and life. And Zacchaeus believed. He repented. He was a new creation that very day. And Zacchaeus was sorry for all the money he'd taken. So he was pondering and thinking about it. He says, Jesus, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to give half my riches to the poor. And then everybody that I stole from, instead of giving them back for $1, I'm going to give them back $4 for every dollar I stole from them. And I'm sure it wasn't dollars. It was some other kind of money. But he was going to try to do what was right. That's what Jesus wants to, us to do. If we do something wrong, if we break something, we hurt somebody, we need to go to them Ask forgiveness and make it right if we can. Sometimes you can't make it right. And you can only say, I am so sorry for what I've done. Please forgive me. And that's what Zacchaeus did to that day. And Zacchaeus, that's what we call being born again. He's a new creation in Christ. He's not the same as he was before God came to live in his heart. He changes us all when he comes and lives in our heart and life. Um, so let's pray. Lord Jesus, I just thank you for the story about Zacchaeus. I thank you that you love us and you care about us and that you forgive us for our sins. Lord, help us to live our lives obedient for you today and uh, um, help us to listen and obey our parents and uh, do our schoolwork and our chores without even being asked today. And Lord, uh, I want to say thank you for another day of beautiful, warm, sunshiny weather. Thank you for yesterday. It was gorgeous. And today is going to be another great day. And we just thank you for that. And um, bless mommies and daddies and brothers and sisters and all of our pets, dogs, cats, and chickens. And just give us a super awesome, great day. We ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you.